Good morning, Pray Firsters. It is Tuesday, the 11th of August, and it's going to be a good day, right? We say that in what? We say that in faith. It's going to be a good day. Faith is something we're going to talk about today, and I'm so glad that you're here. If you're just hopping on for the first time, if you will, just do us a favor and just say, hey, I'm new here, or hashtag newbie, or something like that. I would love to know that you are here, and, and even better, where you're from. If you're from uh, the United States, or if you're from another country, we would love to say hello, and you'll see that just about everybody in here will, will greet you and um, make you feel loved. Now, you're probably going to start seeing these hearts and these likes and these bouquet of uh, care buttons and everything over in the corner, and that means welcome, welcome, welcome. We're glad you're here. If you will, um, before we get started, if you'll just hashtag live, hashtag recorded, hashtag shared, and if you will, share that public. You can click on those, click on my face one time, and then these three little dots should pop up, and... Um, you know, that should allow you to change your settings to public when you share it. It may not, but hopefully it will, because I think that's what you're supposed to do. Anyway, hey everybody, hey Audra, hey Kimmy, hey Pat, hey Philip, hey Barbie, hey June. So wonderful to be here with you again this morning. Ah, <sighs> we started a small amount of school yesterday. We're homeschoolers, we've homeschooled this our fifth year. And it gets easier, but it gets more challenging in some ways. You know, it's always a challenge. That's why everything is. Um, Y'all be praying for Pastor Doug. He's on a sabbatical, a few-day sabbatical, and just pray that God would speak clearly to him in a mighty way. That's my prayer. So, um, today I was reading in Hebrews. It's one of my favorite books. And... Um, it got me to thinking, I turned over to the verse that you'll hear Doug uh, actually quote a lot, Hebrews 10, 36, but I actually didn't see that verse until after I'd already read over in chapter 11. And um, a lot of you um, have inboxed me from time to time asking what version of the Bible do you read primarily? And I really use um, the New Living Translation not to be confused with the Living Bible. The Living Bible is a paraphrase, and the New Living is more of a thought for thought instead of a, a paraphrase or an exact word for word translation. If you're wanting a more readable word for word translation, I would recommend like the New King James or the New American Standard. Um, but for a thought for thought, I really love the New Living, uh, and I read a, I read a lot of different versions because I want to make sure that what I'm thinking I understand is what I understand. Does that make sense? So anyway, hey everybody, y'all keep coming on in. Hey Amy, hey Michelle, hey Cameron, Jennifer. I say that because I don't know if it's both of y'all or just one of y'all. So anyway, okay. So I'm going to be in Hebrews 11. I'm just going to be a little bit all over the place in here, but the title of Today, I try to have a kind of a catchy little title, but y'all remember that song like back in the day where got to have faith. Oh, I gotta have faith because I got to have faith, the faith, the faith. I gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. I. Remember that? Okay, we won't talk about all of the different context of that that song, just that specific part right there. Um, but I remember that song growing up and I just loved it. It was so catchy and everything. And that was immediately what I kind of thought of because everything I think of is either movie lyrics or, or uh, movie lyrics, movie quotes or song lyrics. I were just, you know, bring it all back down to that kind of thing. It just always makes me think of those type of things. In fact, we quote movies around here a lot, <laughs> just in general conversation. So, I thought of that and I thought, gosh, that makes me think of that song, Faith. I've got to have faith. I've got to have faith. You know, um, anyway, so in 11, this, the heading of this says, Great Examples of Faith and Endurance. I don't know what you're going through specifically in your own world, you know, because we all have our own, like, 
mini worlds and then we have our close people that we're all kind of affected by and then we have like it it just keeps getting a bigger circle you know that we kind of spread out for and um our our world is ours you know it's it's what affects us most directly and i know that you're going through your own stuff things that you would share, things that you wouldn't share necessarily. Um, and I get that. And there's probably some things that you're hoping for. You really feel like the, that God has promised you, that he said that this is going to happen, and you're just holding on to these promises. You're standing on them, and you're confident that God is going to come through. Now, I don't know what it is. Um, but you do, and God knows. So, um, I'm going to just read some verses for you this morning, and I think that it speaks for itself. <laughs> um, you know, we go back through and um, in the Word, in the Old Testament, even New Testament, and we read about these stories of everyday people, kings, queens, um, fishermen, just everyday folks, you know, that, that made a difference and we're still reading about them. So, and that's what we're talking about. Okay. So first of all, what is faith? Okay. I didn't actually go to Webster's this time to look it up. I did actually, um, look up some of the, a couple of the words in verse one. So faith, it says Hebrews 11, one, and if somebody would put the, the spiritual address there for me, that would be great. Um, Hebrews 11, one says, faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So, I went and looked up the word confidence, hashtag confidence. Confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. Firm trust. The state of feeling certain about the truth of something. Man, the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. Firm trust. So faith is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. In this case, we can rely on God. It's a firm trust. Okay, and it goes on and it says, it gives us assurance about things we cannot see. You know, I'm really glad that we can't see everything that's coming because I think that we would just go, um, you know, be an ostrich and put our head, ostrich? Yeah, ostrich. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I can't talk this morning, y'all. I've had like three sips of coffee. Um, but go stick our, our head in the sand, you know what I mean? Or just go become a recluse and never, ever leave our house, you know? And it sort of feels like that with all this COVID-19 stuff going on. But um, as far as like staying in and never seeing the light of day, it feels like that sometimes. But the assurance, the assurance, it gives us assurance about things we cannot see. Assurance, a positive declaration intended to give confidence. A positive declaration intended to give confidence. A promise certainty about something. Ooh, yes. We can be positive. We can be positive and we can be confident that the promise that God has given us will come to pass, even though we can't see it. And thank God that we can't see everything because I think it would just absolutely overwhelm us. You know, that's why I feel like he's the light unto our path so that we can just see a little bit at a time, just enough to get things, um, you know, to m m compel us to move. Now, um, it says in verse 3, By faith we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command. And I really, really, really love the whole word study of word and speaking and all that kind of stuff because with God's words, the whatever he was speaking to had no choice but to do 
had no choice but to be, had no choice but to come forth. Hashtag come forth. Because whatever God speaks happens. Whatever God speaks happens. In Numbers 23, 19, it says, God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? Guys, y'all need to get, if y'all need a verse on your mirror or you need a verse on your um, fridge, yeah, that's the one, that's one of the ones you need on there. No, Numbers 2319. Woo! Man, that's good stuff, right? He is, he does not lie. So whatever you find in scripture that says, and God said blank, or you are this, whew, you know, we are the righteousness of Christ. We are um, kings and, and, and queens of, of our father. We are his children. You know, um, we are beautiful. We are masterpieces. We are worthy. All of these different things as that as we become a follower of Christ, we are these wonderful things that God has promised us, right? Ooh, it's so good. Okay, so um, we can trust him even though it doesn't look like it. And even though you're trying to put feet to this, this faith, this trust that you're trying to do and you feel like, man, every time I try to go this way, or that way, the door keeps closing. And I'm talking to myself right now because we sold our house back in November in like four days. It was like crazy. Um, Cause there's no houses on the market right now. <laughs> um, but I thought our house was great, but you know, it was showing like three and four times a day. It was, it was amazing. I was like, whoa. So, um, and then we moved into this apartment for temporary. And can I tell you that we have actively been looking for wherever God has for us next? And that was in November, y'all. And we are still in this apartment, this same apartment. <laughs> um, apartment living is not for the faint of heart. Uh, we are blessed enough to be on the bottom, but there's there's iffy things about the bottom, the top, and the middle. You know what I mean? It's like the top, you got to be so quiet. And the bottom, you got to endure the the trampling of the feet up ahead and all that kind of stuff. But y'all pray for, pray for me because I'm telling you, my faith has been something I've had to really dig into because I'm like, God, you know, I'm, I'm talking to you and I'm asking you, where is it that you want us to go? What is it you want us to do? Do you want us to buy? Do you want us to build? Do you want us to move out in the country? Do you want us to stay in the city? Do you want to, you know, and it's just like every time um, we put, our feet down and try to figure out what it is that we're supposed to do. It's like, nope, that wasn't it. Nope, that wasn't it. So y'all, oh, please just uh, pray for us, just for wisdom, you know? And I know, I know because I have seen him do it. It took us two years the, um, before we built the house that we were in for 10 years that we just sold. And every time it just got better and better and better. And then it was just amazing. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe God you gave us this. You know, so I am confident that he has good things for us. And guess what, guys? We're nothing special. He has good things for y'all. For every single person that's listening to this right now, I don't care if you're listening to it right now live or you're listening to it, you know, 10 years, if Facebook's still around in 10 years and this is something we still have, you know, if you're, st if you're watching this now in 2030 and you're hearing my voice, God has good things for you, right? A good future. So anyway, we're family, right? So I could tell y'all that, but I'm, I'm just letting y'all know that just because I'm sitting on this side of the camera doesn't mean that, um, I've got all this faith stuff figured out because I definitely don't. And I'm a work in progress, right? Anybody else? Hello. Hello. <laughs> So, <laughs> all right. So listen to this. We're not the only ones that had to have faith before God had something. I'm sorry. I'm shaking the camera. I'm going to kind of scoot back. Mm, okay. Check this out. This is a reminder, y'all. Listen to this. Okay. First of all, it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. 
do you know that every time it doesn't work out, I cry <laughs> or I say, God, what are we doing? Can you just please tell me what we're supposed to do? I'm like dying over here. I need to nest. I put, I need to put my own pictures on the wall and, you know, and, <laughs> and nail something in and not just use command strips, <laughs> all this kind of stuff, you know? So, um, Ooh, we can sincerely seek him, you know, put him first, seek him. He is not intimidated by your emotions. He is not intimidated by your questions. He is not intimidated by your too muchness that the world would say that you are. Just go to him and say, hello, I need some help here. I have no idea what I'm doing and I need your strength. I need your hope. I need your peace. I need your wisdom. Ask for the things that you have, right? And thank him, it says in Philippians, for the things that he's given us, right? Amen? Thank you. Okay, woo, that was free. All right, now, it was, the, it was by faith that Noah built a large boat. Guys, it had never rained. It had never rained. There had been dew and stuff like that, but there had, it had never rained. Not like that, definitely. Okay, to save his family from the flood, he obeyed God who warned him about things that had never happened before. By his faith, Noah condemned the rest of the world and he received the righteousness that comes by faith. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when God called him to leave home and go to another land that God would give him as his inheritance. He went without knowing where he was going. And even when he reached the land, God promised him he lived there by faith, for he was like a foreigner living in tents. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child, though she was barren and was too old. She believed that God would keep his promise, and he did. And so a whole nation came from this one man who was as good as dead because he was old too. Like, okay, they were both old. They should not be having babies, right? Okay, but they did because God promised it, right? All right, and so the scripture continues. It was by faith in verse 23. It was by faith that Moses' parents hid him for three months when he was born. They saw that God had given them an unusual child and they were not afraid to disobey the king's command, which would have meant death. It was by faith that Moses, when he grew up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share the oppression of God's people instead of enjoying the fleeting pleasures of sin. He thought it was better to suffer for the sake of Christ than to own the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking ahead to his great reward. Um, it was by faith that the people of Israel went right through the Red Sea as though they were on gr dry ground. Now, looky here. I don't know about you. But when I think about that, when I watch the Charlton Heston, you know, the Ten Commandments and these other movies about, you know, the Egyptians le being led out of um, Egypt, like the Hebrews being led out of Egypt. I hope I said that right. And I hope I corrected myself if I didn't. Anyway, okay. But can you imagine seeing this great sea with the wall of water coming up on both sides? Can you imagine? And then being like, you want me to do what? You want me to walk through this? But... I mean, what's the alternative to get taken back to Egypt by the, the chariots that are behind you coming towards you? Wow, right? Ah, it's crazy, right? Okay, but they did it, but they did it by faith. But they also, guess what they had to do? They couldn't just believe it. What did they have to do? They had to take a step into this dry land with the, with the water walls, right? Can you imagine seeing the little fish and just all this little stuff in the water right beside you? <laughs> that was crazy. Oh my goodness. But guess what they did? They had to put those feet on the dry land and walk forward, you know? And they got to the other side. Okay, it was, um, it was faith that Rahab the prostitute was not destroyed with the people in her city who refused to obey God for she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. There's just so many that we could recount here, um, all of these different ones. But guys, we have to have faith. We have to have faith, faith, faith. Um, we do. We have to 
believe. We have to have that confidence that we w that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. And can I just tell you that sometimes the answer is no. Sometimes what we hope for is a no um, because God has something better for you. And that's hard for me. You know, I tell my, I tell people all the time, like when I say, you know, you've got to open up your hand and release whatever it is so that God can put something else in your hand. You've got to let it go, you know, and whatever that is. And it's, it's like being a mama and making a chocolate cake, which you know is your favorite, your kid's favorite, but they want the cookies and you're saying, no, 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 I've got something better for you. But they just want the cookies. They want the cookies. No, if they knew that the cake was coming, they'd wait. But you're not telling them that, right? It's a surprise. It's like it's a, it's a great gift, you know? And oh, when that faith is realized and you get to see what is it? Oh my gosh, mom, you made the chocolate cake. You made a chocolate cake. You know, kind of thing like, God, you gave me the chocolate cake. You know, or, oh, I'm so glad I didn't get those store-bought hard cookies <laughs> that were in the cookie jar. I'm so glad that, yes, that would have satisfied my, my, my sweet tooth for just a minute. The triple layer chocolate cake, the ooey gooey Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, I'm mostly sugar free, you guys. So this is terrible that I'm over here talking about this. If you're diabetic or you can't have sugar, I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, we just have to be confident that God has things for us and they are good. And if whatever it is, I'm talking to myself, whatever it is that we feel like it's supposed to be and it's not, that we just have to remain confident confident, the feeling or belief that one can truly rely on someone or something. Firm trust. We have to have that firm trust that God is going to come through and whatever it is in your life, you just stand firm, but don't stand still. Put those feet moving, but be confident that God has good things for you and that he will see this through. He will see you through. He's already gone before you, but yet being everywhere at all times, he's right beside you and he's ahead of you uh, making the way. So God, thank you so much for this truth. Thank you. And I'm not very good at it a lot of times. Ooh, it's so much easier to tell other people. <laughs> so Father, I ask that you just help me give us wisdom. Have everybody have wisdom Lord, and it says that you will give it to us liberally, Lord. Lots of it. I always think about lotion, like apply liberally. So, Father, just give us wisdom liberally um, so that we know the perfect will that you have for us, God. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, we love you. Hashtag live, hashtag shared. Woo, it's Tuesday. It's a good day. Make it a good day. Bless somebody with your words. Bless somebody. Not bless them out, y'all. Bless them. <laughs> bless somebody with your words, with your deeds. Um, if you can meet a need for them and you have the ability to do so, do it. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Um, somebody will see you tomorrow. I don't know if it's me or if it's Doug or if it's someone else. Maybe Ann, maybe Dennis. You just never know. It's a surprise, just like the chocolate cake. You'll just have to wait and see. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.